What's up guys and welcome back to LFC Pro Fans TV with me Calvin. I hope you're all doing well. And in today's video I will be doing my Premier League predictions for this weekend's Premier League games. Obviously going to start off with the early kickoff, which is the, I find it's a big game. Obviously uh, Chelsea versus Arsenal. Um, half past 12 kickoff here in England. And um, I really hope Arsenal do win as it's going to be tough. Um, you know, help us out a lot. Um, I don't like to rule us out the title race. I'm saying it. I don't like to rule us out. There's still enough time. I know we're quite a lot of points behind Chelsea. Um, quite a few. Uh, but not too, not too many. But um, I, you know, there's still a chance. I'm I'm still saying it's still a chance. Um. So I, I I'm going to be honest with this. I hope Arsenal do win, but I'm going to be honest. I do think Chelsea are going to win um, in this game. And I, I can see it being a 2-1 win for Chelsea. Uh, next up, we've got Crystal Palace versus Sunderland. Only going to go through them quick. Um, I think Crystal Palace is going to win 2-1 against Sunderland. I think Benteke will get a goal. We'll probably get a brace. I don't know. Probably uh, Zaha or um, Benteke will get the goals for Crystal Palace. Um Next up, we've got Everton versus Bournemouth. I'm going to be honest, um, I'm going to say 3-0 for Everton in this game. Bournemouth's defence is just weak now. They lost, um, what's his name, Aki, Aki um, who went back to Chelsea. Chelsea ended his loan deal a bit early, so he went back. And the defence is just weaker now. So, uh, could you see an Everton win? Uh, next up, we've got Hull versus Liverpool. Now, we shouldn't underestimate Hull. Um, you know, we've got beaten by small teams this season. Um, but Hull have really picked up, especially with this new manager who I do like. And I hope they do stay up Hull. Um, you know, they picked up a draw against United 0-0. Um, which I was surprised about, which I was happy about as well um, at the same time. So I'm going to go for, I do think we'll just sneak it. I hope we do. I think Mane will get a goal if he starts. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Liverpool or 3-1, probably 2-1. Next up, we've got Southampton versus West Ham. Now, West Ham are coming off, uh, is it a 4-0? Uh, yeah, 4-0 loss to um, Man City. It was shocking and, it, it you know, uh, to see. It was quite funny as well. Uh, funny to see uh, all these empty seats just disappearing. I mean, West Ham are just falling apart. I mean, I've not been impressed with it. I know they've not had a chance yet. Um, like Snodgrass I don't think had a chance um, but I mean seriously they could have got a much much better signing than Snodgrass with the money they got for, from Payet I mean uh, I'm shocked about that they need to pro improve their defence definitely as, as well which is shocking and uh, a striker as well but um, uh, let's get straight to the prediction I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Southampton this game I think Southampton after that 2-1 loss to Swansea I think they'll turn things around um, and they've got a new signing, haven't they? A, a, a new striker. I think, is he from Napoli? I don't know. Um, I don't know much about him, but I think he might do well Southampton. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Southampton in this game. And I think they're still without Van Dijk, uh, Virgil van Dijk, Southampton. So it's going to be, you know, I think West Ham will score, but I think they'll lose um, as well. So um, a 2-1 win for Southampton. Next up, we've got Watford versus Burnley. Now, in this game, you know, Burnley uh, beat Leicester. They, they do very well. Very impressed with them at home, how well they play. They do it right away as well, don't get me wrong. Um, but I feel, you know, Watford shocked shocked me last week. Shot, sure, you know, shocked us all, especially Watford fans. Their own fans uh, when they beat Arsenal at the Emirates 2-1, which was something. Uh, so I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Watford. I think Burnley will score, but I think... Get that momentum and, you know, coming off the Arsenal win and they're at home. I think they'll uh, beat Burnley in this game. So 2-1 to Watford. Next up, we've got West Brom versus Stoke. Now, this game kind of speaks draw all over it. Probably 1-1, 2-2, something like that. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for West Brom in this game. I don't know if Berhino will play uh, against the Soul Club. I think he will um, because he's played for Stoke. I think um, he probably will get a shot against the Soul Club. He could score. I don't think he will. It might. I don't think he scored yet for them. He's not much time, but it's going. It's going to be uh, interesting to see how he fits in uh, 
Stokes tactics if he'll fit well in it and uh, you know um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for West Brom in this game I think they'll just sneak it with uh, Rondon so uh, 2-1 West Brom Okay, next up we have got Spurs versus Millsworth the last game Premier League game um, on Saturday tomorrow um, half past five kickoff. Um, you know Mills were a very good team away from home, but I feel uh, you know Spurs shocked me a bit that they couldn't beat Sunderland away from home um, in the last game week. So uh, I'm going to go for I think they'll do something this game week, and I think they'll get a clean sheet in this game. I think it'd be a two nil, probably three nil win for Spurs. Then on to the uh, Sunday games, the last two of this uh, game week, which is Manchester City against Swansea. Now, I'm going to go for a Manchester City 3-0 or 3-1 win. Probably Sigurdsson to get the goal for Swansea. Um, you know, very good at attacking Swansea. And again, I know City's defence would be a bit dodgy. It could be 2-1 or 3-1 City. I'm going to go for that Man City I'm talking about. I love it to be Swansea City, but I'm going to go for Man City. And the last game is Leicester versus Manchester United. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I think it would be a... 2-1 or 3-1 win for Man United. I think Leicester's defence is weak. Um, they could go down this season. They're not doing so great. Um, so I'm going to go for uh, a win for Man United. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, to review also um, post-match, I didn't get to do it. Liverpool v Chelsea 1-1. I'm happy about it. We'd love to win. I was shocked we came out with points. Uh, Wijnaldum with the uh, goal to equalise. Um, good credit to David Luiz. What a goal that was. Uh, Sammy, Min Sammy Mignolet um, was not concentrating. He, he just he should have been more alert. Um, but great goal by David Luiz. That, that he's always been great at free kicks, and uh, it's just a great shot. He just went in like a rocket. And uh, but we pulled it back with uh, Wijnaldum with another header for Liverpool. I think his last one was against Manchester City. Um, Early in the season, and it was a uh, one nil um, at Anfield. So um, I'm 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 happy about. It. I would love to win. Would have uh, caught up a few more points, but hopefully uh, we've got still got the rest of the season to go for. So uh, we'll see what happens. So I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, and I should see you guys in the next video. Peace.